Okay. Uh, now, talk about these wild police officers have been disrespected. Yeah. Like yeah. I said, the signs are all over the campus. They were lying about. One student mm -hmm. said, mm -hmm. I don't understand why the police officers came and pepper sprayed us. The president goes, wait, they pepper sprayed you? And she goes, oh no, but they had pepper spray on them. <laughs> the president just stood there and didn't say anything. At what point is the president going to say, okay, for him, let's tell the truth. And by the way, yes, police officers are going to have pepper spray and they're going to have guns too so they can keep you safe. I'm asking, okay, that this leadership steps up in this school, okay? They step up and they protect the best of free speech, they protect the students, and they show respect for these police officers. You guys understand what I'm saying? Yeah! 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 But I just want to make sure when we go in there, okay, the goal is to have as much dialogue as you can and to be respectful and number and hopefully when we leave today, the students don't think we're a bunch of white supremacists. They think that we're here for reasons that we're passionate about, not because of the color of our skin. You gotta look beyond that. You gotta look beyond skin color. Look beyond your gender, your sexuality. I don't care what you are, we're all Americans at some point we need to come together. Take some damn notes. 
I think that's a good idea. We don't want you to be racist either. I've looked around at these events and I noticed folks from all walks of life, they come with a common purpose. We want to turn the Pacific Northwest red. All the elements or ideals that bring out this group of people, it's combined at a nexus of ideals of honesty, hard work, and love for our country. Whether you're Republican, Independent, or Democrat, voting with common sense is what has blessed our land. For the Republican majority, the governorships, the Senate, the House, and of course our dear President Donald J. Trump. Millions and millions of Republicans, Independents, and Democrats go and cast their votes for Donald Trump because he speaks for regular Americans. We are not full of racial hatred, division, and prejudice. Those are Democrat ideals that they push on the Republicans. The terrible racism of the past, pushed by the Democrats and the KKK, is what brought forth Republican figures like Abraham Lincoln and Martin Luther King, who was a Republican minister. We now face a similar challenge yet again from those same Democrats, and we must rise up as individual citizens to keep America great. I'm almost done, folks. Thanks for sticking with me. I'd like to offer a thought from the great Thomas Jefferson, a founding father. There is not a truth existing which I fear or would wish unknown to the whole world. I predict continued winning for the Republicans as more and more Americans see truth. They turn away from the fake news media and racist institutions like Evergreen. In closing, I know that there are good people here at this school, good students. I know you're out there. And we have one here today. I'm thankful to hear that. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, I want to remind something. I want to remind you all of something. This is very real. And I'm in closing here. Very real. America is the only land that we have. There is nowhere else to call home in this world for Americans. Nowhere that Americans can run to as refugees or seek shelter. This is our land. This is why we stand and fight for our freedoms on our soil right here. There's nowhere else to go. I am here because I want my wife, daughter, son to be secure in the future of this country and know there are great opportunities for them being the people they are. I teach my children to love themselves, to love the skin they are in, to love everyone and not treat someone differently because of the skin color they have. Is that so hard? No. no. I think not. I want to thank you all for coming out. Thanks again to Joey Gibson, Patriot Prayer. As a student of Evergreen, I stand for speech, and many students at Evergreen also stand for free speech. These protesters do not represent Evergreen. Evergreen is not racist. Evergreen is not homophobic. Evergreen is not a bad college. I love Evergreen. I don't want that to change. It's not going to change because my school, my school is not going anywhere. My school needs the support that it deserves. These protesters are not my school. These protesters do not stand what I stand for. These protesters are not Evergreen. In closing, we need to go in there peacefully, as you guys were saying. We need to come together and we need to stand again for unity. We need to stand against hatred and, and, and bigotry and racism of all kinds. We need to come together and we need to have a dialogue. It's not just one way. It has to be both ways. We have to be willing to listen. Thoughts, even if they, even if they aren't what we agree with, you gotta listen to them. Okay. Yeah. Final thing. Okay. This college is not leaderless. Okay. George Bridges is a leader. He's just been making, he's just been doing things behind closed doors. Okay. Students have been expelled for their actions. Yeah. Students have been, you know, disciplined, and uh, there have been 
there has there has been actions taken behind the doors to address these issues. And learn to do whatever we need college 
Coming down here is like a thousand people writing comments on social media. Yeah! yeah. 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 Woo! Yeah. 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 a commitment, a commitment For to a bring the conservative matter, libertarian movement to the streets, and I appreciate every single one of you for coming down here today. 